bit your nails hey y'all thank y'all for tuning in to another one of my videos and if y'all been liking my beginner nail journey content so far make sure y'all subscribe to my channel and if you make it to the end of this video give me a thumbs up let me know how the nails look or whatever if y'all like the video yeah so here i am i had already uh pushed back the cuticles you know cleaned up cleaned them up or whatever and i had already then i proceeded to dehydrate and prime the nails so for the dehydrator, you know, to, um, I don't know if I used alcohol or I used the Dynamic Nail Supply Dehydrator, one of them. You know, if you want to use alcohol by itself, I learned it. It's, it's perfectly fine. You don't need to use a dehydrator because it works as a dehydrator to absorb all of those oils, you know? And then I had went in, as I dehydrate the nail, you know, I go in with um, no lift primer. Sometimes on some of my videos, I go in with one nail at a time. Sometimes I just go in with the first coat of primer on all the nails. And then I do one nail at a time with the second coat. You know, it just all depends on how I be feeling, really. It is a little fast if I go on and get the um, first coat of primer on all the nails first. You know, all the, well, one whole hand to start off with, which I use. I'll apply my no lift primer in one coat. And then I go in with my uh, young nails primer one by uh, one finger, you know, as I go. But, yeah, I don't know. It's in, in my head, I feel like uh, me going one by one with both primers is kind of helping me for the nails to uh, stay on a little bit longer in my head, you know, because I'm slow. I'm not a fast nail. I don't do nails fast. I'm real slow, y'all. I'm real slow because I'm a beginner and I'm still trying to not mess up. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm afraid of going too fast and then messing up. So I'd rather just take, you know, I don't go too, I have got a little bit faster. I have got a little bit faster because the fouling, it what gets me. It's the fouling child. So I'm kind of getting the fouling part down. But it's really the application, you know what I'm saying? So I kind of want to work on get my application a little bit better, laying it to where I don't have to foul as much, you know what I'm saying? So it can sa save me some time. But yeah, I, I'd rather just go slow on the application and make sure it's right because then it's going to make up for the time of me having to foul it, you know, and debulk it and stuff like that. But yeah, when did I do this uh, video? This was last month. Girl, this is how many videos that I, I don't even know if I can download it. I done spent all day. I done spent all day trying to um, get rid of videos that I don't need. I had so much. I started off with my baby. Like, she, I have so many videos of her. So, I done transferred all those to, you know, back it up with my Google account. My Google Photos, so I put all most of her little videos, all the super old ones when she was a baby, baby. So I got them up by my phone, you know, trying to make room, and then like I had like a lot of old nail content. Like I don't know what I'm keeping it for. Like I had to learn it, and then I was trying to save like all my videos on my um. My kid's dad, he had bought me like a big terabyte storage little disc thing. So I can back up anything I want to on this. Uh, I don't even know what to call it. I don't know. On this foul disc, uh, fat, it ain't this. It's a foul saver shit. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's just a, like a little. It looks like a, it's just a small box, but it holds so much memory. 
So he got me that because I was like, I don't have enough memory on my phone. I don't have enough memory on my iPad. So I don't have no choice but to, you know. So I've been saving every last one of my videos since I first started doing nails last year. No, the year before. Was that last year? Yeah, matter of fact, last year. When I did started YouTube, I don't know when I really started practicing on myself. It's when I really started. When I, I got the videos backed up to where I was practicing on myself. My first video of me doing my own deals ever. So, Chad, that's up on there too. So, I done got to the point where it's, I need to save time as well. Trying to save these um, YouTube videos. Like, I, I just had it in my head, like, I wanted to be able to go back and look at what I done did, my progress and stuff, but it's already on YouTube, so hopefully I don't lose my account, you know what I'm saying? So, it's no point of double saving it, so, yeah, I'll just use that storage for other, like, I do want to keep my pictures, like, that's what I do want to keep, at least one picture per set. You know what I'm saying? I don't need nothing else. I don't need no, because all my videos gone, you know, like little clips. You know how you take pictures, little clips, little reels and stuff. That's going to be on my Instagram. So, it's already backed up on Instagram, on YouTube. Ain't no point of me saving all this stuff unnecessarily. So, yeah. I just learned, you know, I just got on, just start doing it. Because I'm just like, once I delete this video, I, I get one little clip, the best clip out of that whole video. And I it make it like one minute long just to save that and make it a reel to let people know I have a YouTube channel. Be like, you know, watch the entire video here. Here's the link. You know, stuff like that. But other than saving these YouTube videos, that's a no. No more. No more. I need to save time because this done took, a, took me all day to get some of the videos up on my phone, which I'm really proud of. It was long overdue. Long overdue. I really wish I knew what um, color this was. So here I am all done with the application and I was just going in to make sure it wasn't just as flat, you know, of a nail as some kind of strength to it, even though they're short, but still. These are a little strong there, so we don't want no breaking, no cracking, no none of that, no popping off. So, yeah, here I am going in with my brow drill bit. <clears throat> Just cleaning up the cuticle area, you know, sealing it on in. Kind of getting those sides together, getting it all off the, make sure ain't nothing on the skin, you know, overlapping the nail. As I should say. And I'm kind of debulking it at the same time. And I'm going in, kind of bringing it in to give it that coffin shape. Because, you know, once you apply acrylic, it tends to lose its shape sometimes. But one day I'm going to get that to work. And I'm going to start. It's going to be just that perfect application. One day. But yeah, I know y'all can tell by the title of this video, she wasn't happy with her nails. And so what happened was her sister always comes to me like all the time. So the girl that comes to me all the time referred two of her sisters, both of her sisters. They was going somewhere. So they was like, I want to go to where you get your nails did because they was like, your nails are always cute or whatever. So they came or whatever. And um. They've been communicating through the sister. I've been communicating through the sister. So, I didn't think much about it. You know what I'm saying? She's been a middleman. She booked their appointment for both of them. You know? So, when it came down to this client, you know, I was communicating with her. She was like, she want French tips. I was like, okay, cool. Whatever. And she, but she booked a freestyle. So I'm just like, okay, just to make sure, you know, I have to get clarity. Like you booked the freestyle, but you talking about French tips. So she was basically, she was like, uh, she said, I was like, okay, so she want French tips. She was like, yeah. 
And she was like, hold on, let me see. And then she was like, yeah, you can, she said you can freestyle. So in my head, okay, I'm going to freestyle her French tips, you know. So I'm going to give you some French tips, but I'm going to kind of add a little razzle-dazzle to them. They ain't going to be your normal French tips. That's what's going on in my head. So, yeah, cool. I'm going to give you French tips freestyle. Okay. So I was asking her just to make sure, you know, she said you can freestyle. I was like, okay. So that night, you know what I'm saying, you can see my, y'all know I like to get my little index card. That's my index card. Because I like, if I'm not looking at a picture or anything like that, I like to get my index card and draw my design out if I really want to be artistic, you know, really want to be creative. That's when you know that I did it on my own when I bring out the index card. That kind of helped me get ready for it even better because I done already drew, so I finna draw it again, you know what I'm saying? So, I had already had her design, and here I am. I'm just fouling the nail, using my 8080, you know, giving it a little sharper look, cleaning it up a little bit more. And um, so, when it was her time, her sister was like, you know, she getting French tip in my head. I'm just like, yeah. I so I was like, yeah, I know. But, remind you, when I had the conversation with the sister, you know, it was French tip freestyle. You know, she wore designs and stuff. So that's what I'm going to do. That's what I had in my head. I'm like, cool, yeah. I know she had French tips. I didn't mention, no, we didn't, didn't nobody say nothing about freestyle or nothing because I thought that was already established. So when she sat in the chair and, uh, or whatever, but, uh, yeah, I was trying to see what was going to go on after this so I can just really show y'all in real time <laughs> how it went down but here i am before i start telling the rest of the story i'm just uh you know still family child trying to make sure all the nails are the same girl i be that's why i be sweating it be a workout fouling it really do be a workout And she was like, I always just get coughing. I was like, cool, that's cool, me. And I don't know which which um tips that I used. I don't even know. I probably use them stilettos. Stiletto tips and cut them down. I don't know, child. I probably did. Here I am just going underneath the nail to get any um leftover acrylic that tends to, you know, go up under the nail. And here I am starting to do the design. So, yeah, I'm doing the design. You know what I'm saying? So, in my head, I had already, you know, I'm going to just do French tips, but I'm going to design every single one of your nails with a little design, a little French tip twist to it. Uh, um, so, here I am, you know, doing my thing because I'm all hype about it because the sister and I already hyped me up, so seeing how excited they was and this and that and you know so i'm like shoot i'm excited too this is the first time kind i gotta show out you know once you get that first time person you know you gotta show out and you know i never been just nervous with new people never been nervous i think i i don't know i just feel comfortable now Cause what I got, what I'm gonna be nervous for? They, everybody sit in my chair, be nervous for the first time. They be nervous, especially teenagers. I be have to calm, calm them down, you know. <laughs> like you wanna watch some, or you all right? You thirsty, something like that. When last time you get your nail done, you know, a little smile talk, make them feel comfortable or whatever. But ugh, I keep getting sidetracked. But yeah, so I was doing her nails, you know what I'm saying? The pink, you know, the pinky had the little outline stiletto, you know, type of French. Then and then the thumb had the same thing, type of French tip. And so as I'm doing them, I'm just really feeling myself. I'm like, oh yeah, this like, it's coming out exactly how I had it in my head. So I wasn't even worried about it. And um I think after that 
first hand like i wasn't done if i re remember i think i started working on the other hand i think i started working on the other hand and then in the midst of that i had asked her like you know i was all excited i was like you like them you know i was like how you they look good to you you like your nails or whatever Girl, when I say she gave the ugliest look, I said look, she gave the ugliest mug, like, you know how you uh make a fist with your fingers, just, you know how you look at your nails or whatever, face your nails towards you, she looked at them and she was like, ugh, like, this, she didn't say nothing, she didn't say ugh, but she had that look like, what the fuck it is? And um, then she opened her hand up in the air, like, so, you know, you open your hand, like, you giving somebody a high five, like, she opened her hand to look at them. And whatever. Here I am. This just, I'm going in with silver. Just outlining this nail in silver. Just because I like to do that when I'm doing, uh, outlining the tip in the, um, shoot, the rhinestones, child. And then these was just like, you know, the little blooming lines. That's basically, I'm putting base coat on it. Or was it the little so-called blooming gel? And then I just put like little lines around the tip of the nail. That's part of the freestyle. It's something different, you know? And she was like, when she was looking at her hand, like with a mug, she was like, you finish? I said... Girl, my smile immediately left. <laughs> it immediately left. Because I never had nobody do me like that in my beginner months. You know? It ain't even been a year or so. You know? And in your head, you always just... I always figured that I was going to have that client that didn't like their nails. But to really experience that was a different type of... In your face. Like, what? Girl, I be doing, I be thinking I'm doing my thing. She humbled me real quick. <laughs> Girl, that shit tripped me out. And um, she was like, you finished? I was like, you don't like your nails? I said, you don't like them? And she was like, well, I mean, I asked for free tip. I said, your sister, you booked the freestyle. I was like, y'all didn't even book a French tip. And I had asked your sister multiple times, you know, what you was getting. And she was like, she told me to freestyle them. She was like, uh, here she was going back and forth with me. I had to end it. So I was just like, look, I was like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't no words. I ain't tripping. You know what I'm saying? You don't really have no design on your fingers for me to, it ain't nothing for me to just take it off. Fally sound down, you know, you know, and just redo you some simple French tips. I was like, you want to do that? I was like, it ain't going to take that long because she got short nails and it, this design didn't even take that long. So doing you some French tips real quick, you know what I'm saying? I done kind of got used to them. It ain't going to be no big deal. So I was just had to end it because she was just like, yeah, French tip. But I said, no, French tip freestyle. That's what your sister told me. Then she was like, uh, French tip. I was like, yeah, she don't understand. This is the prime example to where I am not going through nobody else. I'm going to be like, no, you tell them to call me or you give me their number. You know what I'm saying? So we communicate with each other because that's the prime example of when I say read my website. Read my website. You know what I'm saying? So there won't be no misunderstandings. So you felt that to do that part you didn't look at no descriptions or anything so she was trying to tell me what my description meant that's the thing so i'm just like no that's not you know what i'm saying it, it wasn't my fault because i had discussed back and forth with your sister what to get what you had wanted and this is what she told me now so, I'm just like, well, to end all the confusion, you know, I was being professional as I should be, you know. I'm just like, ain't no big deal. It ain't like this happens all the time because I was just anticipating that I was going to already have one of these clients that's not going to like their nails. 
which I ain't tripping because I'm a beginner and I'm ready for the smoke. You know what I'm saying? So I, I needed that experience, you know. So now I know, like, now you, you need to make sure you read this website so you can know what description, you know, what you're getting and what it comes with. What all to expect is right there. That's not my fault that they didn't do that. Like, did nobody go to the website? Here I am doing a spider gel. And she was looking like, what is that? For, and then, so, she had told me, you know, she wanted to take that off. And I was like, that ain't, you know, cool. I'll do that. I just, let's just go and take, I was like, you want to take the diamonds off, the rhinestones off too? She was like, no, that finger can stay. Or whatever. She was like, that, that's fine. I was like, okay, cool. Did I take the, um, so here I am, what I'm doing? Yeah, I went on and did this one too. The little spider web design. And I wonder, was it after this? Cause she made me change them pointer fingers twice. So I think it was right here. I'm getting ready to add the uh, rhinestones on the fingers and all that. So I think that's when I asked and I was like, oh, okay, you know, so let me just go and make this a, uh, uh, go on and just, while I'm doing it, I can go on and quickly make this a French tip. Then I can go and take the spider gel, foul the spider gel off and go and make that a French tip, you know, and we, we done. I can feel in the thumb, make that a French tip, you know, it wasn't no big deal. But, you know, you got to just check people out before you go into people. She was like, I wanted it like, uh, you know, she said her sister name. She was like, I wanted it like, just like my sisters. I was like, she didn't say that. She, she, I just say, well, do it just like mine. You know what I'm saying? That wasn't what was discussed, but which was cool, so... And then, you know, I'm just like, why you have me go, you watch me do all these fingers, all these designs, and wait to the end to say you don't like it, what? Then she told me to, you know, fill that in a little bit more. I was like, okay, cool, I'll do that one too. And she changed her mind about the spider gel. She was just like, she probably was ready to go. She was just like, just keep the spider gel. Can I add something to it? And I mean, I wasn't going to do nothing but add some rhinestones or something. And she was like, something about some, so yeah, she made me take that off again. And she was like, she didn't like the deep, you know, the deep French tip look. She just liked the tip. So I'm just like, well, I don't know. She was like, just like your pictures. I'm just like, mm, do my friends do like that? You know, I don't never do it like that, but okay, I can do it. I'm fixing this because she had a nail on the lamp. <laughs> Child, was too much going on. But yeah, I had just put flowers on them and we just called it a day. But I learned my lesson, you know, don't go through the third person trying to communicate. Just talk directly with your client. And I don't know, she she probably won't come back. I already have that feeling that she would not be returning. Because she was just like, I like simple stuff. I'm just like, ooh, we don't do simple up here. <laughs> no, I'm just like, <laughs> But it ended on a good note, all in all. It did end on a good note. But I just, you know, one of those times, you just know, like, she probably just had that experience. She gave me a chance, and she had a bad experience, so... She not coming back. I already know that for a fact. I mean, I wouldn't mind if she did. I ain't tripping. You know, we'll do her some simple free stat French tips next time. And then she had got a flower on her thumb, too. But this not the design, you know. I thought we was doing French tip, but you just made me take out one design to add another design. So it's still a free stat, so I wasn't understanding. Y'all really was. <laughs> But that's the end of the video. You know, you're going to have those clients. You can't satisfy everybody. But I did my thing still. They still came out real cute. Watch when I add these little pictures. But if she come back, I'll be glad to accept her. I ain't no bad home, no foul, doing none of that. Thank y'all.